Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Full Living Nerds podcast. I'm here with Alan Fernandez. Hi, Alan. Thanks for joining me today. I'm happy to be here. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, so, obviously, um, you were in Star Wars and New Hope as a Tuscan Raider back in 1977. So, Correct. how did you become a, a Tuscan Raider? How did I? Second place. How did you get the role? Well, I actually, I worked at Marine World, Africa, USA. In Redwood City, yeah. And George Lucas came into the into the park and wanted an elephant to play the panther. And my boss uh, Peter Gross said, "If you take the elephant, you got to take Alan along with the uh, with the elephant." Yeah. So yeah, the two of us went to the Death Valley and filmed uh, uh, Star Wars. Oh, very cool. So what was it like to work on Star Wars? Oh, my God. It was totally awesome. Totally awesome. I mean, it took us uh, a long time to get down there, but the filming was close to 10 hours. Okay. Because it was it was in March, and that's even it was 82 degrees on the coolest side, but that was the coolest in the valley. So, where where did you film? In uh, Death Valley, California. Okay, right, cool, nice. Now the the other raiders did uh, Tunisia Uh-oh. the year before, but you know because of uh, TSA, now we couldn't travel with Margie. Of course. To... <laughs> um, so um. What was it like wearing the costume? Like, was it an easy fit? Was it an easy time? My costume was a piece of cake. Okay. Okay. My my boots were Wellingtons ra- wrapped in uh, burlap, which I was totally used to wearing uh, Wellingtons all day long. So, in fact, I used to go dancing and forgot I had my boots on. <laughs> So my my costume was totally cool. Monty on the on the other hand, her costume was took her eight months to build on her frame. Oh wow! I mean, you know, they had to uh, they 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 used the lightest metal to build around her frame, and she would lose weight, put on weight, you know, so they had to adjust all of that so much. But she was such a cool <laughs> uh, elephant. She really was. She was a matriarch of, of all the elephants. But when we when we got finally the costume on her, after so many hours of filming, yeah, she was. Oh, by the way, uh, she would hold her trunk in her mouth. So it wouldn't hang down. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of the kids that come and see me, they didn't realize that's an elephant in there. That's that's wow. It's all the um, so the the elephant plays the huge banter things, the brown. Yes. Oh wow, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and we would say, okay, um, trunk, and she'd hold it in her in her mouth. And we would go filming. Oh, wow. Now, there was only two people that said, okay, and she would drop her trunk. Uh, Bob Stryker and myself, right. the banter writers. And after we said trunk, she'd hold it, and we'd go down filming, you know, short distance. Yeah. And we would say, okay, and she'd drop a trunk because she had to breathe, you know. Of course, yeah. I mean, you know. But somebody behind the filming would shout, okay, and she would drop a drop. So we'd have to go all the way back and start again. Oh, <laughs> oh I bet that was annoying. It was funny. Yeah. Anyway, so at the end of the filming, it was getting dark anyway. And uh, I broke my, the uh, bridge of my nose with my helmet, you know, the desk gray. I should show this. Oh, wow. 
a friend, a, a fan made this for me, and wow. I love it. But That's like amazing. I said, it's huge and heavy. <laughs> anyway, so they help it broke the skin of my nose, and I was bleeding. And Margie, being so close to me, she knew I was in pain. Right. Because George said, okay, from the rest of the shooting, sit sit on, on the bather. Don't get off. We can, can't have you holding your mask. Because I was holding the mask, you know. And you'll see some of the scenes of me running down, holding the mask. <laughs> oh, wow. So George says, okay, no more holding the mask. Just sit on the other. Stay that way. But Margie could feel my pain, you know, even though it didn't hurt very much. I was really into her. I was looking after her, looking after me. Long story short, she started to shake. And so George says, okay, enough with the shooting. No more. But it was time for us to end anyway. Yeah, I get that, yeah. Um, so what's it like looking back? on that you know nearly 50 years later i did go back well okay I, I'll, I'll start again i didn't realize that i was a celebrity yeah i was in rehab because i had an accident oh, okay i don't know whether you can tell um i i felt it split my head open and i was in rehab and a, a friend of mine steve Demetrius said, you know that you're actually a Star Wars a celebrity. I'm going, you're kidding. So his first thing was take me to uh, the, the, the George, I mean, the ranch. Uh, oh, yeah, George Lucas Ranch. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and that's where I met some people. And I'm going, really? That's me? Oh, wow. <laughs> That was my my first my first show was in West Sacramento. I had no idea that I could do this, and that started me going around, uh, literally all over the world. Wow, that's amazing! So, have you been doing? Sorry, go on. When I was in London, they treated me so well. Wow, that's great! In, in London, but you know when I went there. It was like 90 degrees, which is unheard of. Yeah, in London. <laughs> yeah, you obviously picked a very good time to come to the UK. So. <laughs> yes. Um, so are you still doing comic conventions now? Yes, I am. Yes. In, fa in fact, this weekend I'm going to Colorado Springs. Oh, cool. Uh, my fr a friend of mine, a very good friend, he's got a Star Wars He's got two Star Wars collectibles. I mean, it's, the one in, in, in uh, Plano, Texas, is the world, world's largest collection of Star Wars memorabilia. Uh, oh, wow. The largest. And this one in, in uh, uh, Colorado Springs is the second one. Jesus, that's a lot. <laughs> so it's kind of like a grand opening again. Wow, that's amazing. So you go there and I'm guessing sign a few things? Uh, yes. Either they'll bring me stuff to sign or I've got photographs. Right. Okay, nice. That's awesome. Um, so apart from being a Tuscan Raider, did you ever do anything else within the acting industry or did you not pursue acting? Uh, to be very honest, I'm not an actor. Okay. I, I am a exotic animal trainer. Oh, okay. I've I've done I've done a couple of films that were not for the public. Uh, they were private movies, films. One was uh, with a camel called uh, Arabian Nights. Nice. And it was it was paid for by the uh, the lady that was diagnosed with cancer. So she wanted to do something with her life. She came to Marine World and asked for a camel. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, hence, Arabian Nights with a camel. Nice. Okay. 
Yeah, and I, I rushed the camel it was a very young and I had to use the restroom. But uh, long story short, I can tell you what happened in the restroom. But when I came back out, um, Iris was sipping on uh, uh, something very sweet, the Mexican, not, I'm sorry, uh, Turnish liqueur. Oh, yeah. Very, yeah. very sugary. And she, you know, two years old, who doesn't like sugar? Of course. But the next morning, she had diarrhea like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh, joyful. <laughs> I said, okay, Iris, go take a break. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the second uh, movie that I did was uh, Poolside uh, with Peter Cross and myself. We took uh, uh, Naji, which is, we all had our own personal cats. Peter's uh, cat was uh, Naji, Bengal Tiger. And we had to keep Nazi between our knees, you know, because, you know, the women had on a bathing suit with flimsy uh, over, uh, coverings. Oh, yeah. And the breeze kind of was attracted. Uh, I mean, Ma, uh, Nazi was, uh, Nazi, Margie, same thing. Uh, Nazi was uh, drive towards the flimsy. Uh, clothing oh, so okay. we had to we had to keep the cat between us because he wanted to go play oh <laughs> wow so you so th those are the two that i did nice so obviously you said you work with exotic animals so you work with tigers did you say my my, my pet was a mohan which was bengal tiger he's wow. he, he was a rut the you know the uh, mangle left over. Yeah, yeah. But I took him in along with uh, uh, a dog, a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Okay. So I put those two together. They grew up together. Wow. And I would I would go with them when I was away from the park, the park in, at school. Uh, a Mohan had his own little place to stay. Yeah. And uh, Ridgeway would stay with him until I came back. Oh, so it was like a... Uh, they're trying to make him bond so it becomes more... Yes. Oh, very yeah. cool. Wow. Uh, you know, and Mohan grew up much, I mean, bigger than Ridgeway. But Ridgeway, Ridgeway still was in control because he was the alpha. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, because dogs are alphas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. What other animals do you work with? Uh, elephants, camels, zebra. The zebra was the first animal that I rode on before a horse. You rode on a zebra? <laughs> Is it the same, basically? A zebra was actually, uh, his name was Kip. Well, Kip, Kipper or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, no, no saddle, just jump on and it would go run around <laughs> and then the, the other animals were oh we had i was a, a parade ma marshal now the, the animal right in front with me was waldo a water buffalo okay but i would have to walk the, the park and squeegee any water away from the walk right because the water water buffalo was afraid of puddles. <laughs> really? How stupid is that? <laughs> he was afraid of puddles. Yes. <laughs> That's a weird phobia. I know. I, well, and then as soon as I, I mean I would scrub down uh, water before before taking him out in the park. First thing he'd do when we got back to the to his area. He'd roll in the mud. <laughs> that's that's and that's uh, oh, spider monkeys. Uh, we had we had one uh, uh, main spider called Lucy, a spider monkey. 
as soon as I came into the trailer, she would jump up and wrap her, her tail around my neck and she'd show her teeth to all the other monkeys, stay away. <laughs> this is my man. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's so, really yeah, cool. I've got tons of stories of Marine World, but, you know, I can't tell that to when I'm sitting down to people watching Star Wars. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. That's amazing to hear. It's really cool that you uh, work with such amazing creatures and animals. That's really cool. Yeah, thank you. Um, so is that your main job still to this day? No, actually, now, I, uh, after Marine World, I made a mistake and got married <laughs> sorry but after that i did a whole lot of stuff with uh, computers uh, with uh specific specifically with uh pacific bell uh a 9x which is east coast uh, company right. um, ibm of course you know after that i opened my own company uh also doing uh, computer uh networking yeah yeah uh, and then now i'm retired because after the accident <laughs> oh okay right yeah so do you predominantly just do conventions in yes today? i yeah. love doing that yeah i love that i mean to see the kids when you know the smile yeah <laughs> yeah well that's the thing though because of you know the modern star wars shows and films and showing more Tuscan Raiders, your character therefore becomes more popular because they're bringing the Tuscan Raiders back by default. So that's really cool and keeps your character alive. By the way, the, the, the uh, throwback on, I mean, the the, the new uh, Star Wars series. Yeah, Boba Fett. It, yeah. Boba the, Fett. The, uh, uh, especially the... The new series, uh, yeah. You know, you know, when when they shoot the banner, I'm going. You know, that's that's Margie in there. You can't shoot her. <laughs> you know, I mean, I feel <laughs> you can't shoot Margie. I know what you mean. <laughs> Um, so, what else do you want to do in your career? Obviously, I know you said you're retired, and obviously you're doing the conventions now. Is there anything else you're wanting to do? Yeah, I want to travel some more. <laughs> Anywhere in particular? Uh, Australia. Have you never been? Never been, but oh. I, I'm hoping that'll be happen. That'll happen again in a few months, but I'm not sure yet because of the pandemic. You know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I haven't been to Germany. I've been turned down three times, and I don't think I'll go back there again. <laughs> three, three is my limit. Any reason in particular? Uh, they they cancelled me at the last minute. Oh, okay. Even I get you. even yeah. even though I I prepared to go, you know. Yeah, I get that. Uh, where's the furthest you've travelled then in regards to conventions? It would have to be London. Okay, cool, nice. Yeah, yeah. I haven't haven't gone uh, anywhere west of me, but uh, East Coast I've been a few times. London was furthest away. Uh, haven't been to Spain or Portugal, and or. Anywhere in the, in Europe, I, right yeah, at the moment, I've got lots of friends that communicate, you know, via uh, Zoom or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really cool. Nice. Uh, you know what? What I find really interesting is here I am sitting at a convention, and there's a cosplayer next to me. Okay. Nothing against cosplayers. That's fine. Right. Yeah. They, either they are voice characters, but they've never been really in the movies. Yeah. You know, so I'm going, okay, the, the line for the cosplayer, and I've got one guy who's willing to sit 
and listen to me. Yeah, I get it. And that. I love that. I love that. But this is a line for the signature of the cosplayer. <laughs> I know it, it sometimes don't make sense. Like you were in one of the most iconic sci-fi films of all time. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then you've got, yeah, no, I totally understand where you're coming from. I've been to conventions before and you'll see um, people who you think have long queues, but don't have long queues and other people with long queues. It, it, it doesn't make sense sometimes, but you know, if you're ever at a convention, and I can I get to see you. I'll be sure to come and talk to you in person for sure. You know, when I was in London, you know, you know what a handler is—a person that connects the money and yeah, looks yeah. after me. Yeah. Okay, I had two handlers. Oh wow! Beautiful, beautiful young ladies, by the way. <laughs> and one of them walked in front of me, and another one behind me. As nice. I as I walked to the restroom, oh, okay. and that was. So cool. I mean, you know, stay away. Don't ask him for a signature until he's back. Yeah. You know. No, that's the best way to be. That really nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's about boundaries and respecting the guests. Like, when you're at the table, like you said, ask as many questions as you want. Take photos. But when you're away from it, let you enjoy being away from the table. That's how it should yeah. be. Um, I just want to finish on one final question, and that is, um, would you have wanted to appear in another Star Wars movie if given the opportunity? Yes, absolutely. And absolutely. Did it ever come? If I'm if I'm holding the the, the you know, I'll need something to hold it rather than my cane. Yeah, know? like the pole. Yeah, the pole things. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use the pole. <laughs> You know, hold me up. <laughs> I, would, I, I, would, I, I would love to do that. Yeah. But, you know, uh, now that, look, George is not in charge anymore. Yeah. Um, I, I miss him, by the way. I, you know, I really do. He, he was a f- fabulous director. I mean, he listened to you. I had breakfast day with him. Oh. And, yeah, well, 4 a.m. in the morning, we have to... <laughs> Or I am <laughs> joyful. Yeah, in fact, after the breakfast, his uh, accountant went around the table, asked, "What did you order?" and was checking out what was ordered, and he tipped them ten percent or fifteen percent. And I'm going, "Do you realize these pe- people woke up two or three hours ahead of time?" To cook us breakfast. Yeah. And you go, you're going to give him 15%, 10%, 15%? Come on. <laughs> no, I totally did. This, yeah. this was 1977, okay? Yeah. And, and I slept on the, in the trailer with Margie because she was agitated. So I'm, I'm sitting there having breakfast, probably stray in my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, I tend to go off offline. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. That's what podcasts are all about. Chatter, cool. chatter, chatter. Yes, you know. Uh, well, Alan, thank you for your time. I appreciate you being on I the really show today. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, and I'm sure, as I said, we'll probably meet one day at a convention. I hope so. Yes. I hope so. Uh, if, you ever, if you ever come to the UK to a convention at London again, uh, let me know and I'll try and tie in. So I will do that. I will no, do that. That's what. <laughs> okay. well, all the best. Thank you. Thank Take you very care. much. Goodbye. All bye. the best. Bye-bye.